next guest has redesigned traditional electrostatic headphones to produce a high-res audio performance at a cost-effective price, because there are others out there doing it that can be very expensive. And we'll talk about that. The uh, co-founder of Mitchell and Johnson is David Johnson. David, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm very well, sir. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. So tell me first a little bit about Mitchell and Johnson. Uh, obviously, uh, two of you, I guess. That, no, absolutely. That, that put some uh, business together to start uh, maybe working on some new tech. Huh? No, absolutely. So we are two British guys. Uh, mid mid fifties. Uh, we used won't to hold that against you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> See, I got to loosen you up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I walked into that one. Yeah. So um, yeah, we used to have a, a lot of retail experience. So worked in the UK and European versions of Best Buy in technological buying. Mm -hmm. uh, had a lot of experience sourcing out of the Far East. Um, went out on our own a few years ago. Bootstrapped it. Um, the wife is still chasing me for <laughs> where's the money? Where's yeah. the money? Yeah, I hear you. Um, <laughs> but we uh, launched a set of uh, traditional retro hi-fi separates, so like an amplifier, a DAB, uh, a Spotify streamer, and a CD player. Um, and then two years ago, we hooked up with this Taiwanese company who have developed um, this amazing technology. It came out of the Taiwan Institute of Technology around about 2001, actually, but mm. it, it wasn't market ready and it needed work to be able to make it audiophile and consumer market ready. Got you. Now, are these the headphones that you're working on at this point? Kind the of a, a prototype this of is the, the one prototype. you're working on? Yeah, All this right. is the prototype of the first set that will come to market. All right. And what makes them different? We talk about, first of all, you know, what makes an electrostatic unit, for those who may not be familiar with that? Yeah, it's a really good question. So traditional drivers uh, in either speakers that you might have in your home or your dock, at, uh, you know, the Bluetooth dock, mm -hmm. or even your headphones are, are shaped like a dome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the the music comes out in in certain ways, the sound waves come out in certain ways. Electrostatics, just imagine, it's like um, it's like a half of the size of a credit card. It's it's thin. It's a very thin diaphragm, which is allows the sound to come out with with precise clarity. Mm -hmm. And these, the magic that these guys have done is traditional electrostatic headphones need a separate amplifier and a separate power source to drive to drive the sound. Um, and, and that just doesn't make them portable. A, it makes them very expensive. Yeah. Uh, Sennheiser, uh, who are a fantastic company, have been in the business for many, many years. And you're wearing Sennheiser uh, headset uh, now uh, with the uh, microphone. They're, <laughs> they're a fantastic <laughs> company. If, if we had 2% of their success, we'd be very, very happy. Sure. They relaunched uh, a set of electrostatic headphones, like an anniversary edition, recently called Orpheus, 50,000 US dollars. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had them on the show. Oh, and, did and you? They're talking about it's a really cool thing, especially yeah. with the, the tube amplifier that's part of the system and everything. Beautiful. But yeah, fifty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, a little more affordable than the rest of us want to spend. Right. What will these be costing? Uh, from one seven nine dollars through to four nine nine, up to six nine nine. Oh, okay. But there's the point. They needed a separate amplifier, so yeah. that's not really portable, is it? No. It's for an in-home or, or. And it's very impressive, but yeah, you can't carry it around. <laughs> kind of it with, with, that. Uh, with uh, eight tubes that are going <laughs> to exactly. break very easily. Well, absolutely. There's no portability there. Yeah. No, that's right. The glass uh, tubes. So the magic here is that it's a combination of an electrostatic diaphragm like the credit card size with a traditional dome driver so it allows you to fine tune if you wanted if you're really into R&B or hip hop and you love the heavy bass sounds then we can fine tune a product for that consumer okay. likewise if you really like your say jazz or your classical music and you want something that's crystal clear with clarity with its very precise balance then again we can do that fine tuning that all happens with the engineers post production sorry pre production gotcha. um, and we're fast running out of time okay, but, cool. I, but I wanted to make sure that folks know that they can get more information when they visit your site and you're going to find that out when you visit Mitchell and Johnson Dot com the, the word and, of course, you can't use an ampersand in a website. So MitchellAndJohnson.com. David, thanks for spending a couple Thank minutes you. with us. These are very cool-looking headphones, and I wish you well with them. Keep us informed as to their Will availability and, and pricing when they're out, and we'll make sure and talk about it on the air. Thank you very much, sir. It's our Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. David Johnson, co-founder of Mitchell and Johnson. Dot com. While you're at it, IntoTomorrow.com, where you can hear all three hours and links to all of our guests and see the video of all the radio interviews. We're back next hour with more from Las Vegas and CES. I'm Dave Graveline. Stay tuned on the Advanced Media Network. <laughs>